Hi and welcome to this video on the demonstration of predicting prospective customer using a customer lead data set. I am Raghavendra, an expert in AI, ML and data engineering. In this demonstration, we are going to make predictions using naive Bayes algorithm. First, we are going to import the libraries NumPy and Pandas. Read the dataset using the pandas read underscore csv method and let's take a look at the top few rows of the dataset. If we observe the dataset, we have columns like owning a house, owning a car, having a house loan or not and so on. We, here we have a lot of customer information and we finally have the purchase column which is the target column which we are going to use for making predictions whether a customer has subscribed to a marketing campaign or not. If you observe most of the columns are categorical in nature and in fact they are binary in nature. Most of the columns Almost all the columns follow the same pattern. Now let's take a look at some of the insights about the data using data.info. All the columns are numeric and no null values. Let's do a describe to get the summary statistics on the numerical column. So here are the summary statistics. Now let's take a look at the breakup of the categories in the target column using value counts. As you know, purchase is the target column. Purchase dot value underscore counts is what we do to get the breakup. So there are two categories as you can see, zero and one. Zero occurs 91.4% of the times and one occurs 0.08% of the times. So let's take a close look at this. A value of zero in the purchase column signifies that the customer has not prescribed or not accepted to the marketing campaign. Value of one on the other hand means the customer has prescribed to the marketing campaign. So if we closely observe zero occurs 91% times in our target column of our data set and one occurs 0.085 times in our target column. So this clearly indicates that there is an extreme imbalance in our target column and such kind of problems will fall under the category of imbalanced class classification problem. Now let's check if there are any null values. There are no null values in any of the columns we will move ahead in to separate the features and the target. We're going to put all the features in object X and we're going to put the target in Y. Then we are going to proceed to split the data into train and test. For that, I'm going to first import scikit-learn.model selection train test split is the method. We're going to pass the array of features, the array of target. I'm going to choose the test size as 0.15 and set the random state to 25. We as well set stratify equal to y where y represents the array comprising the target column. So the purpose of stratify here is required because there is an extreme imbalance in the target class. Stratify is equal to y which is going to ensure that both the training and the test samples will have the same proportion of the target classes as it exists in the input data. So always in the imbalanced class classification problem, it is recommended to use this stratify argument set to Y, which is the array of the target column. Next, I'm going to import naive base. I'll be solving this prediction problem using naive base. Since most of our columns in the feature are binary in nature, I'm going to use the Bernoulli naive base from scikit-learn.naive base. Once imported, I'm going to instantiate that Bernoulli naive base. Then I'm going to train the model 
using the fit method where I'm going to pass X train and Y train and then I'm going to make the predictions on the test set and the predicted values are stored in YPRED. I'm going to put all of these together that is all the test observations then with the actual test labels as well as the predicted values. I'm going to do this by putting them all together in a data frame for our better understanding of our predicted and the actual values. Here is the first test observation where a customer who owned a house, had a car, did not have a home loan and so on, the actual test label was zero and the predicted value was also zero. And so is the case in the second observation as well you can find a similar match between the test labels and the predicted values for the third observation as well. So here are our actual values and the predicted values. If Y test value matches with Y pred value, then we call that as a correct prediction for that particular observation. Likewise, if suppose there is a mismatch between Y test and Y pred, then it's a case of incorrect prediction. This is how you are going to use naive base algorithm in making predictions on the customer lead data set. In the second part of this video, we are going to discuss in more detail about the implementation of the performance metrics for a classification problem. This is how you are going to use naive base algorithm in making predictions on the customer lead data set. Thank you for watching this video.